Good morning guys, this is Nigel, Nigel's Modeling Bench um, and here we've got another video, this is the second part in my HK 132nd scale Lancaster upgrades video and this is a set of decals from Kits World KW132049 and this is the general markings including stenciling and RAF wrangles and walkways so in this set we're not going to get any lettering or anything or any um, squadron numbers, we're, we're only getting stenciling and actual roundels. So you can see here, this is basically what we're getting on the sheet. And then when we turn it over, this is the actual sheet itself. And we've got some indications here as to where various stenciling and everything should go. Obviously, you'll also need your um, references. You'll also notice on here that a lot of the stenciling is much heavier than it is on the HK models decal sheet. More on that later. When you look at this, there are basically three differences. Is, um, two definite, one not so definite. The first is all of the stenciling is much heavier. You're getting red and black, which is um, a bonus if you need it. The HK Models Kit only comes with black. But you will also notice that the, the writing, the stenciling, is much heavier on here than it is on the HK Models Kit. The wrangles, the wing wrangles here are the same size as the HK models, sized correctly at a scale 102 inches. And the fuselage wrangles here are 60 inches scale, which is 1.875, and these are correct. We've also got our, our markings for the fins here, 36 by 24, and again, they scale up as correct. Now, if we compare all this to what we get in the HK Models Kit, there is absolutely nothing wrong with these decals whatsoever. They're printed by Cartograph, so they're going to be great quality. And the first thing I notice when I look at these is the roundels. The HK Models Cartograph roundels appear nicer, crisper and sharper than the ones in the Kits World set. But then, maybe this is correct. Maybe this overlap is correct. I don't know. You'll also notice in the fin decals, decals, the white band is wider on the Kits World than it is on the on the HK models. And you can also notice that the fuselage wrangles are considerably larger. This is the Kits World, this is the HK. You can see the size difference there. There is also a very slight difference in colour, but and you can see here the stenciling on the HK models kit and the stenciling on the Kits World set, much heavier. For example, if we look here, you can see it says steady here. This is the line that goes underneath the cockpit where it's warning people about the, cop the spinning cockpit blades. If you look at steady here on this one, it's tiny. This has the advantage, if this is correct, then these could be used on the 48 scale kit and probably be correct on that. So I'm looking at my references. These to me appear more in line with a wartime aircraft. You also notice on the HK models, they've got a mistake there. Dinghy release, pull hand. They do actually include an air atom for that. So you do get a replacement decal to, to cover that. The interesting point is you only get one decal Whereas on this one, you get two. Now, I, I do know there is a cable that goes to the back of the aircraft and is attached near the, um, the entrance door on the side, on the starboard side. Now, it could be that there could be one of these adjacent to that cable and there's also one on the, um, on the wing panel itself. But uh, yeah, I don't know why they've given you two. So... There we go. That is the decal set for for the uh, thirty second scale Lancaster. And something I've just noticed, I should have mentioned, those roundel sizes are different. If you look on here, so it could be that the HK models roundels are correct for this one, but not for this one. So you may need to get this set just for those different size roundels. But anyway, that's the set. Thanks for looking. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. And if you want to see more. HK models upgrades and other model upgrades, then uh, hit that notifications bell and you'll see when I put them up. There is, I've just put together a video on the air scale instrument panel set for this aircraft, so that will be up later today as well. 
So thanks for looking. Bye-bye.